Mickey, we've got three interstate accidents right now, but you're looking at the one causing the most issues. Right now, things are looking good on the roadway. Just a quick reminder, let's go ahead and take a look at those drive times. We we're just talking about Tuscaloosa. If you're making your way from T-Town into Birmingham, right now it's about 59 minutes. This morning, this is a look at 65 and Alford Avenue. As you can see, traffic's moving along pretty smoothly in this area. Now, I did want to show you one area of concern. Highway 79 at Carson, this has been closed for a while, and you can see why. We have two accidents, one in the southbound, one in the northbound lane. They're both at mile marker 80 right here. Seen four miles of delays in the northbound lanes of 2059 speeds at six miles per hour. That's from the 18 wheeler and car that both hit a median. It's blocking the left lane of traffic, so that will be affecting you if you're trying to drive from Tuscaloosa into Birmingham this morning. Well, Mickey, traffic's pretty heated right now. We've got some congestion all over the area, although we do have some good news. That area on 65 where that accident is and 31, we are not seeing stop and go traffic there still. It is pretty slow, but really our concern is still 280. We're seeing backups all the way from Highway 119 where that we talked about the weather in Tuscaloosa for the game this weekend. Right now we're looking at the traffic. This is over by McFarland and Jack Warner Parkway. So what you want to know is easy way to get around this. That would be take 31 and avoid all the mess. Unfortunately, things have gotten much worse in the past couple minutes. I'm going to try to hit up as many as I can. We've got quite a few new reports of issues. Uh, so if you're headed on 280, you want to be careful. This at 11 miles per hour in the southbound lanes. We're also seeing onlooker delays in the northbound lanes. And then remember, we have that disabled vehicle on 459 northbound at 65 that's causing delays on 459. The only thing that we are seeing on our board is a report of a pothole 459 southbound by 31. Do you want to look out for that? It's in the right lane. But let's check up on Santa. Right now we're looking at our Santa tracker and we just got word that he passed over the Great Wall of China. Right now he is in India, so hopefully he should be here later tonight. And hey, we're going to finish off with some Christmas music for you from your Good Day family. Let's get a check on traffic. <laughs> hey, you guys want to help me with traffic too? Hey, how do, let's show them how the roadways look. Uh, what are we seeing out here? Good? Yeah? Okay. Everyone's driving, moving along pretty smoothly. <laughs> So no problems right now on the roadway. We have no accidents. Everyone uh, seems to be driving pretty well, as we can see our good demonstrations <laughs> over here. 65 back. northbound into town. Uh, 13 minutes is that drive time. If y'all want to point to 65 for us here. So looking good, not seeing any real problem spots. That yellow just means some minor slowdowns. You still looking at Britain over there? Yeah. yeah, she's over that there. We'll, we'll get to her in just a little bit. That uh, traffic car. Yeah, let's, let's just look over here. So other areas of town are still looking great right now. No other problems. Hey, will you be my girlfriend? <gasps> sure. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Oh, wow. thank you so much. Uh, I'm so excited. Dude here, and she said yes. So, so oh, you stay right here. It's okay. <laughs> 645 right now we are yeah, taking right, a look right, at the right. roadways. I just want to interrupt real quick. No. My, my mom always uh, brags about you, how you're always so well dressed. You got a beautiful dress this on. Is mean. And you're always styling. <laughs> but I just wanted to show I'm check, so embarrassed. Check out these shoes that Britain's wearing today. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice. Go ahead and show the socks. These are the Dallas Cowboys socks. <laughs> the and Texas socks. Texas socks and anyway. I didn't good. know anyone would see my socks. <laughs> I barely noticed. Didn't even notice. Starting a new trend, right? <laughs> That's right. Looks good. Looks good. Anyway. <laughs> back okay, to well, we uh, we don't have any problems on the roadway this morning. Things are looking great so far to start off the day. Let's go ahead and take a quick drive up 65 as you're making your way through Pelham right now. 66 miles an hour and then through Hoover. Not too bad either. 68 miles an hour there. And as we get Closer into the downtown area, 68 miles an hour. That's it for traffic. Back to you, troublemakers. Oh, you keep styling over there. All right. <laughs> yes, my mom is 50 today. <laughs> she didn't want you telling her age. She, she didn't want you to say that she's 50. Yes. Because uh, you might want to play that down, the 5 -0 thing, because oh. ladies don't like it. She's 30. She's, <laughs> she's 30. The salsa. difference between dip and salsa is a little spice. OK, so good. Okay. I'm doing right. Texas-style black eye pea salsa so now what you do the easy thing to do here you're just gonna like buy this at the grocery store the pico de gallo mm -hmm. um, and we're gonna put that in one bowl 
And then I got uh, one avocado and I, I chopped it up. Now there's a certain way you want to chop it so mm -hmm. it gets it's right for the salsa. You want to cube it. Yeah, you want to cube it. So I've already really done it, but just to show you, this is Easy. this is how it should look, and you just kind of dip it in there like that. There you go. And hey, having said that, it's almost as if I knew Evan Maxwell would also have the number one play this month. Yeah, you either can see the future or you looked at the rundown. <laughs> the men's basketball team with lots of yeah. exciting plays so far this year. They're keeping fans on their feet. No doubt about that. And I understand you used to swim back in the day. I, you, I was a chubby little kid that liked to swim in cold water in the lakes of Canada. It was like five degrees. I don't know what my parents were thinking, but hey. Yeah, that does I'm not seem safe at no, all. No, but it was still fun. <laughs> okay, yeah. let's get to En Fuego. And it's Black Friday. You know, a lot of struggles with Jameis Winston going on right now. Yeah, what so advice would you give him? I'm just so disappointed. I know a lot of people have, have watched your dad in the public eye. They've seen his character, the players he's produced, and the impact he's had on people. What, what don't they know about your father? That he really is the person in public that he is. Well guys, despite the youth, I talked with Coach Hendricks before the game. She told me this is the hardest working team she's ever had. They're always asking for extra film, extra shots, and the coaching staff also pretty young. They have a combined age of 120, which makes an average of 30 years old for each coach, making them the second youngest coaching staff in Division I women's basketball. Guys. On today's show, can Liberty's pack line defense outlast Longwood? We'll bring you highlights from the basketball game that came down to the very last second. Maybe the word bounty wasn't on it, but there were rewards for big hits and knockout shots. <laughs> so it happens everywhere. This is a big issue. It's really hurting players. What is your solution to the problem? How do you stop this? Well, Coach, how do you think the team's done in controlling the pace of the game against this up-tempo Lamar team? Britain, we haven't done much right at all, so... Thanks, guys. Yeah, Coach, you mentioned to me yesterday that the fast-paced offense can oftentimes have negative effects on the defense. How do you prevent that from happening? Well, we, we did. We had a great... And we got to get rid of those lapses. We're young teams often do that, and we can move our way through that. We can grow through that. I'm now joined by head coach Jody Murphy. Now, Jody, what's the process been like in getting that invitation and eventually deciding to join the Big East? Well, it's been... You mentioned all the strong programs. What do you think will be the biggest challenge for the girls in adjusting to the Big East? Well, they'll fill the shoes and fill their... Full speed. High impact. Aggression. Football is not just a sport. Here in Alabama, it's a way of life. But at what cost? If you're sitting here talking about money, well... We're talking about a kid's life. Is your child's helmet safe? Has it been tested? I just think you're on a risk of, uh, of something being there that you didn't know. Information you need to know to see if your child's helmet is ready for action. Wednesday and Thursday at 9 and 10. What a week for Liberty yeah. alum Rashad Jennings. The New York Giants taking on Philadelphia Eagles at MetLife Stadium. Now jump ahead 24 years and now just a few miles down the road at St. Vincent's Hospital. The American Sports Medicine Institute is doing just that. Another Alabama Pro Day is in the books. All 32 teams were represented as well as GMs from the Jets and the Giants team. And for players like Austin Shepard, who was unsatisfied with his combine results, today was a much anticipated do-over. You said Kenzie Freeze and look like she was free. She does look like she It was cold. It was cold. So a brave job. Good, good job by her going out there to help us. Many athletes of all ages push their bodies to the limit for their sport. And all too often, injuries occur. And I landed and my knee buckled. And when it comes to ACL injuries. It could be season ending. It could be career ending. We'll show you how sports medicine and technology are coming together to keep athletes from getting hurt tonight at 10. You also had another incredible experience going to Pasadena, winning a national championship. I saw you at the NFL Rookie Symposium. The kids were all over you. Did you have the best time? What was that like? It was great. You know, just to uh, have the opportunity to be with Alabama Crimson Tide might have clinched their 13th national championship victory, but for many of these seniors, they're coming home with a lot more than just a national championship ring. Clearly have the need for speed. How do you get back on the regular roads and not go over the speed limit? Uh, well, sometimes you do go over the speed limit. 
SEC Weekly correspondent Britton Lynn has more from Tuscaloosa. The Alabama women's golf team is ranked number six in the country. What would you do if you're a college student and you get a cover of the ESPYs? Oh, that would be hot. I mean, and the ESPYs red carpet. I'm Britton Lynn. Those vuvuzelas drove me nuts. Do they bother you guys at all? Roll tide, roll. <laughs> Britton Lynn has more from Pro Day at Tuscaloosa. It's hard to have an advantage over the top players in the nation coming into the NFL draft, but Alabama's players hope their undefeated season and national championship will give them an edge. I think that um, when you're on a 